Itaque motorumque Christi Fidelium Explentes. Qui sinistra tristis terram atque. Iluc vagabantur in certis sunt dies et noctes. In terra quoram domino quia mortis eos. Utiles promisit dielationem. not to draw attention here. Winchester mourns a good bishop and a strong, virile man. He found his peace with God. What do you see, Sunan? Jesus, what's happening?
getting tired. I'm looking for the Reeve. Selwyn? That bastard said I stole an arrow. I was starving. See me My baby's so close to death. Not Selwyn. Would you not Reeve steal Goodwin to save your child? was arrested not long Felling ago. Felling trees, Alfred, chiseling uh, rock from the earth, and for now what? That's as funny as to build more the prisons for men who Seems steal no apples. In Winchester. The prisoners might know something. Have your guts out! Not much! <laughs> Spying on me.
Thick walls and thicker guards place to keep a valuable man. Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. A husband and wife to be carried out soon.
evidence against the Order of Ancients. Stolen from Goodwin? A Dane in Winchester? These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I have your papers here, taken from the captain of this keep. A marvel. History will name you the Protector of Winchester. A pricking irony. And not lost on me. Now let us go before they discover their eel has slipped the hook. Let's regroup beyond the walls!
I am grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite Reed. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the sixth. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wheels words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. The gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. Is Selwyn a name you know? He seems to have judged and executed many for little more than stealing ale and bread. Of course. That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester. Executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. Good people of Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylfer, our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aylfer was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. There is no longer freedom in Winchester. None are safe from his blade. And Alfred has set the traps. You cannot steal and be welcome at our house. You cannot surrender and keep your tongue. 
You cannot walk freely. Oh, no. Does Alfred not do something? Selwyn's bloodlust will doom us all. Who has the right to determine the fate of the perverse, if not the goodly people of Winchester? I am. Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table. Where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. I should meet with Goodwin and see what he has found on the quill. Just about this lap, my friend. Do you believe in souls? 
part of us that lives on with God after we die. Hey, off that. Hey, Thomas! What is that boy doing all the way up there? God will punish you! It's high! Why is it so high? Survey the area. It's high! He's so brave! Like a young King Alfred! He'll crack his head like a fresh hen's egg! heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? It may be I should take my Dane Guild now, leave you to the snakes that remain. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more from the writings I found? I did. The Quill is calling the children of Winchester to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets. Feral and untutored. I can talk to some. See where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve. Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. I found no charm, lucky or otherwise. A bit of silver, then? For my troubles. It would not have the same value, would it? You ugly Dane! May God curse you with boils on your face! Spry, little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? Heaven will swallow the smoke. Very p- It was I won't hold you. Show me what lies ahead. Get off me! Stop struggling and give back that apple! Apple? I didn't scrub on nothing! Get the hands off me! Cowbreath! Cowbreath? You little street rat! No! Get off my day! You lost! You lost! Stealing apples, eh? Fruit don't feed a grown boy. Do you have any chicken? I do not. But maybe you can tell me what you know of the quill. The quill? God blimey, you're brave. Find Elwyn and Wigbert. They see everything. He's so brave. Like a young king Alfred. He'll crack his head like a fresh hen's egg. It will a kid and wolf and It's the corn as a bird. It shows from us. Guten Mulan's 
You there, little cut purse. Keep your beak out, nosy. I'm starving. Cogs be it. You'll set Winchester ablaze. Roly poly mutton man. You can't catch me. Oh, God help me. I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. Mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotna. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well? Oi! Wigbert! You great moon calf! Hand it over, Elwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? I'm not sure. Looks like an old lady's been rolling in shit with all the other ugly sows. A hog in a dress, maybe? How I speak, I get dirty jobs! Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? I'm looking for the quill, so I'm asking you, his little worker bees. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what Is you know. Is that so? I am innocent as a lamb. They were the quill's thugs and you killed them. Wouldn't want to be in your boots. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you're not working for the Quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give him what you took. Maybe he can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. Have a look soon in there.
I need your eyes, my friend. Sunan, guide me. I should watch out for a mousetrap. Now, Elwyn, few have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence, and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! Oh, shit! Come here, bloodbag! And mother will give you a treat. Coward. Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. 
Give me a child until he is seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart? <laughs> I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you cannot. You have corrupted too many to save too few. is the only way forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. A pity. Non requiescent in Bache. Goodwin said to meet him at an alehouse nearby. Aid me, be my eyes.
To oh, test your skill at all. Guard. Who's with me? <laughs> Eivor! Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the Quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. What does Arib do, exactly, besides sniff around the king's coattails for the scent of praise? I enforce and interpret the laws here. Not man's, but God's law. The natural laws that move the world and hold it together. Well, if that keeps you busy... I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Where is your king now? Alfred is busy with the Elderman of Wessex. A Witten was lately called to discuss the little matter of a bishop's timely death. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report.
bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. Yeah. A stranger comes to Wimber. You do not mourn like they do. Wimber is always here, helping the sleeping, singing to them, so they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wimber helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Aelfirth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. What about the Bishop Aelfirth? Did you dig his grave? No, no. I don't bury a lord in a pauper's husk. Poor Layoff. They showed him their gleaming blade. Someone heard your friend Layoff? Yes, yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. Grant my brother Aelfer eternal bliss. Where John? Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. <coughs> I will leave you in peace then. Lord, grant my brother Aelfer. Only his head and neck are burned. Is this what Wemper meant? that they stole his friend's face. And this corpse's build is slight, frail. Goodwin said Aelfirth was a brute. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I will leave you in peace then. Threadbare clothes. Did they belong to Wemba's friend? This funeral is a shadow play. The order killed an innocent, burned his face so no one could tell, and interred him in Eelfirth's place. His sister knows more than she lets on. What now? A pretty show you have laid on here, but I know the truth. You would dare speak to me? When my poor brother Aelfirth lies cold in his shroud. Your brother is the Sikhs, and no more dead than I am. Heresy. My brother was the Bishop of Winchester. When Goodwin got too close to the truth about your brother's place in the Order, you buried him. Or rather, you buried another in his place. The poor gravedigger's friend. Burning his face so no one would know. How did you... No, I... I... Your brother is not in that crypt. Tell me where he is before more lives are lost. I will not tell you any more. Guards! All right, all right, have your way. They won't do you any good. Guards! That's our God won't let us lose. Work with me. An arrow in the door.
Why will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, cat and mouse. Where is your brother, the one they call the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more of the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all. Risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. Stretch your wings, Sunan. must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. The priest, clerk, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? Aelferth is dead, and we mourn him. But the foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds like a cockles and tear in a field of wheat. Education. Wisdom. Enlightened thought. This will raise us above the sins of our fathers. These I will demand of the next Bishop of Winchester. And so we meet to discuss all worthy candidates and choose the man who will shepherd our flock. The king is mine! By God, it's true. The bishop lives. How sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. Mm -hmm. 
It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in lamb's wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the Old Minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. You, Dane. My brother served God. He was not a Christian. He abhorred your God. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness, but this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. Aid me, be my eyes. Show me. If 
Aelfer's sister spoke true. I will find answers in the ruins. to Aelfer's secrets. <laughs> I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. Everything they did was to undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There's nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward.
Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumples to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. You had your chance, damn you! I did not want it.
My love. The order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred? The line between friend and enemy is a porous one. Shall we? Please, Eivor. Not now. Not with Sigurd there. I want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north, from your old friend, Vili. Vili? A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased.
this must be snotting out. Saxon and Dane live in peace. I expected nothing less for land under Hemminger Jarl's rule. You're a long way from Norway, Wolfkist. Billy will be pleased. Trick we spoke true. You have come to England. I have, and I mean to stay. It's Nottingham. It will be good to see Billy again. Pour the mead! Eivor has come to Snottingham! Skull! Make sure the supplies are secure. We may set off at any moment. Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trygvi, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Billy? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Billy's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Hemingr Jarl looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Billy and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Billy's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Hemming a Jarl is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased a skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 